ఫస్ట్ అక్టోబర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ సాటర్డే హీ బిలీవ్డ్ ఇన్ ద లార్డ్ అండ్ హీ కౌంటెడ్ ఇట్ టు హిమ్ ఫర్ రైచస్నెస్ గాడ్ మేడ్ అ గ్రేట్ ప్రామిస్ విత్ ఎబ్రహాం ఆఫ్టర్ యూ హ్యాడ్ రెస్క్యూడ్ లాట్ బై డిఫీటింగ్ ఫైవ్ కింగ్స్ in genesis chapter 15 verse 1 the word of the lord came unto abram in a vision saying fear not abram i am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward upon receiving such a great promise from the lord abram said that he was without a child at the time the lord took abram outside and told him Look now toward heaven and tell the stars if thou be able to number them and he said unto him so shall thy seed be Genesis chapter 15 and verse 5 Immediately Abraham believed the Lord as it is written in today's Bible verse he believed in the Lord and he counted it to him for righteousness This promise was fulfilled in Isaac in people of Israel but more importantly through Lord Jesus Christ son of Abraham when many people believed on him and became the sons of Abraham this virtue of Abraham had become an important aspect in the teachings of salvation as it is written in the book of romans by faith a man can be justified or in other words righteousness can be imputed by faith romans chapter 4 and verse 5 says but to him that worketh not but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly his faith is counted for righteousness moreover this virtue had made abraham to become a father of many nations as it is written in romans chapter 4 verse 17 further it says that abraham against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about an hundred years old neither at the deadness of sarah's womb he staggered not at the promise of god through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to god and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able also to perform romans 4:19 through 21 as god counted abraham righteous when he believed upon him it is also for us as it is written in romans 4:24 but for us also to whom it shall be imputed if we believe on him that raised up jesus our lord from the dead who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification romans chapter 4 24 and 25 the righteousness of lord jesus christ had been imputed to us by faith freely though we are justified or the righteousness of lord jesus christ was imputed to us freely it is not cheap jesus christ paid a great price of his own life when he died on the cross do you have this experience is the righteousness of lord jesus christ imputed upon you if not you are still in your sins believe on lord jesus christ you will be justified freely through forgiveness of sins 